Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create. So we're going to be making this little baking journal. So the, what I did is I used resume paper. You don't want to use regular copy paper. It's just too flimsy. It doesn't look very nice. Um, cardstock is too thick. Resume paper comes in 24 pound or 32 pound. Either of those is fine. It's just a little nicer. So what you're going to do is get three of the resume papers uncut and you're just going to fold all of them in half and just fold them in half, burnish the edges, all of them. So you're going to have three of them and you're going to stack them into one another. So you have all your three pages. You're going to stack them together. And then what you're going to do, and you'll notice um, this top cover is a little bit shorter on the end than the back cover. That's just because it's wrapping around all the pieces. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it to your trimmer and you are going to cut this, the width, to five and one quarter. That way you're going to even out all the edges here. You're going to cut all the papers at one time. Hopefully your trimmer can do that. Five and one quarter. And you're going to trim it so it's seven and a quarter inches tall. Seven and a quarter inches tall. So I'm going to take it to the trimmer and I'm going to do that. And you're also going to get an eight and a half by 11 piece of 65 pound cardstock. You're just going to score it at right in the middle, five and a half, and then you're going to burnish that down, and this is going to be the basis of your little booklet. So I'll be right back. I'm going to cut mine five and a quarter inches wide, seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter inches tall. So I've cut this. I cut this to five and a quarter inches wide, seven and a quarter inches tall. And I rounded the corners on all of these. I just did two pages at a time in my corner punch, just on these sides. So that's, those three sheets are done. This, I just cut it to seven and a half inches tall. So this is seven and a half inches tall, rounded the corners here. So the way this is going to work, this little booklet's going to fit in here like this. So you're going to sew it in. I mean, we're doing like barely any stitches. What you're going to do on this valley here where you folded, you're going to measure one inch down from the top and you're going to put a little dot there. And then you're going to measure one inch from the bottom and put a little dot right in the valley there. And then you're gonna go right in the center. And I think that's like two and a half inches from this. To, if you go two and a half inches from this dot, it's going to be right there. So that should be two and a half inches from here. Yeah, roughly that's two and a half inches. So those are going to be your three dots. Make sure they're right in the valley. I cannot see that well. So that's what you're going to do. So then you're going, I'm going to show you a video because um, you're just going to be using a needle and thread. My thread is just regular thread. It has not been waxed. No special needle. It's just a needle. And I will give you a link to the video that shows you how to how to do this. So basically, you're going to get your papers secured in this valley. And I probably should get some of my paper clips. I'm just going to get this centered and then where I want it, I'm going to put clips so my paper doesn't move on me. 
hopefully I'm staying in frame. So I've got my clips here and down here. And basically you're going to get your pokey tool and you're just going to make little holes in there. And your pokey tool could be a big needle. It doesn't have to be a pokey tool. You're just gonna go right in that valley and then you're gonna come out the other side. It doesn't have to be a really big hole because you're just gonna be putting a little needle in there. So right in the center on your, come out the other side. Hopefully it's right on the, the, um, the folded edge there. Again, right down there, come out on this side. So those are gonna be your three holes. So we are going to be sewing. We're gonna be putting a needle and thread in there here. And I will link you the video to show you how to do that because when I do it, I'm going to have to bring it way up to my face and you won't see me. Um, but this is prepping you for that video. So if you get this far, you're ready for the video. It's real easy. So once you're done, you're just, it's going to look something like this. There's your thread right there and you tied your square knot right there in the middle and your book is complete. And then you can just decorate the front cover with designer paper. I just used this designer paper and I will give you a link to where I get all these little sentiments for my baking journal, my Chris, my, my cooking, all my baking little sentiments. I'll, I'll give you a link below. It's a little Etsy shop and it's like $2 or something for a digital download and you just print them. So I'll give you that. So that's it for this little baking journal booklet, real easy to make. And you can make these for any, any of your projects. Once you get the hang of it, real easy. So what else have we not discussed? These graphic 45 tags, if you do not have the tags and the dies to cut them, make them your, make it yourself. You can just do something like this, which is just basically cutting your black card stock and then just using a corner rounder or a scallop punch. This one measures the black cardstock is um, three and seven eighths by seven and a half, I believe. Seven and three quarters. So you can just make your own. Seven and three quarters inches long and three and seven eighths almost inches wide make your own don't have to have these these are nice to have and you can just put that in here instead of this same thing with this one it's the same width and i think the length is five and five and three quarters inches long so that will fit like that this one will fit like that this is just a, a card, a cutout from, um, this is from the 8x8 collection. It's this card. I just cut it out, matted it on black cardstock again, just to pop it out. So that goes there. So this page is done. I've got our baking journal in here, our tags, this little guy. On this piece, I just put the journaling card. I don't have this one, but it's from it's this one. It's this is from the 12 by 12 collection. I just cut it out, put it on the back here, and then I just added this little label that says basic basic baking recipes from home. So you can um, you can make this yourself, but that's just using my printer and doing that. So that's it for this page. I don't think I did anything else other than adding these little cards. These are all from obviously the 8x8 collection. This, this one and this little guy here. I just cut them out and made copies of them because I wanted to have a bunch of them. So I just put it in my my scanner and then copied them and then just printed out a bunch of them 
on 65 pound white cardstock. So those are going to go there. Just got your your basic black. Um, oh my gosh, I'm not even, not even in the corner. These just go here. You got your basic black photo corners that are going to hold them in. So these again were just scanned and printed uh, on 65 pound cardstock. You can make as many of those as you like. So that's all we did here. I added this little circle that says family recipes um, down here. And now this is from, I think this is from the front. Oh, it's, it's from, it's right here. But it's from the, this is the eight by eight. This is from the 12 by 12. So I just put something down there. I want it to, it to be kind of muted because there's lots of going on. So it's just kind of muted there. So that's what I did here. And then we go to, let's see, these two pieces here and here where we have our big magnets. These are from the 12 by 12. This is the eight by eight, but I just cut this one and there was this one, but you can cut the cupcake one too, if it doesn't matter. And then I just put them down here just to give some, a little bit of pop down in these. So these are just cut from one of these. Let's see. Then we go to here. This I just used a three quarter, is that my three quarter inch punch? And just punched out these little circles. Maybe it's my might be this one. Let me see what what size is that. Let me see. I'm not sure what size that those are. Are these these size? Yeah. So it's this size. So this is five eighths of an inch punch. I just punched these out and I put them. Just you'll you'll feel where the the brad is, and I just kind of put it. This one's just to the. Here's the brad. I just put this one right up there. I didn't want to add more, more bulk right on top of the brad. Same thing. Here's the brad. Added the little circle just to the bottom of the brad. Found the brad and just kind of moved this up just a little bit. I want to just give a little bit more pop to this right here. Um, added this piece, just a round circle. And I'll show you where you can, I don't, no, she has these, but this is just a circle. It's just a circle that I made. Nothing there. This, I added this card from the 12 by 12 collection. And then I made, and I just glued it on three sides. I didn't add any half inch borders. I just glued it, made this, which is basically what size? Where did I put? Get another ruler. This is three and a quarter inches wide by seven inches tall. That's what I made, and then I just kind of decorated with the paper. There. Same thing. Just cut a rectangle and then angled um, my. Little corners up here with my scallop punch. You can use a, a, a rounder, corner rounder too. That just fits in there. And then in here, I just made these little envelopes. You can probably see these anywhere. They're just library envelopes. And I made them so they are... Total size is three and a half inches tall. The pocket itself is two and a little bit more than three quarters. I just added a, a little card here from the eight by eight collection. And then I cut out a notch with my, my circle punch right there. And then got these sediments from 
that Etsy shop that I'll link below. So it's just a, a basic little pocket here. It's just glued straight down. And then I just added this little card from the 8x8 collection. It fits right in there. So this car, this width was made to accommodate these cards. And then here's the 12x12 card, the same matching card. Same thing, made another library envelope right here. Added this little card from the 8x8 and got this from the Etsy collection of Bake Sentiments. Added this from the 8x8 collection right there. And here's the 12 by 12. So I think that's basically it with all the design elements. Obviously you can do more or you don't have to do all these. And I hope you enjoyed this project. I know it was time consuming. Uh, at least it was for me. <laughs> and But it turned out beautiful. And when you feel it, this is heavy. This feels so good. Anyway, I hope you liked our little creation and talk to you later.